Yeah. Message of Menace Conspiracy Radio. We're chilling out at Hilton right now, and I'm joined by none other than Dub C. Dub C, what's up? What up with it? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. Out here, you know, in the UK right now. About to go put it down to the university. Gone Boy Ice Cube. I'm out there promoting I Am the West as well as Revenge of the Barracuda. Let's talk. Records. Let's talk about that, Revenge of the Barracuda. You just dropped that, Barracuda. I believe, about two, three months ago. Was that right? Yep. What was the reception being like? It was really good, man. The streets is loving it. You know, it's like one of the biggest records, you know, back in the United States right now. We're trying to get y'all up on it out here, you know? And for those who haven't heard it, what can they expect on this album in comparison to your last? Uh, this one right here is just just more, just, just more gutter. This one right here is just straight, just West Coast from beginning to end. No, but it's, it's, it's a burner though. You say West Coast, we were talking just a minute ago. Can we expect your typical West Coast producers, Rick Rock, Battle Cat on our album? Nah, Ooh. not on this one. This one is Hallway, Hallway Production, as well as uh, Jig. You know, Jig, Jig got out, who did I Am the West for Ice Cube. Um, we got THX. We got a lot of new hungry um, producers out there. We got out on this record right here. Fred Rick and Battle Cat did come in and uh, they did uh, work on one together called, uh, called The Spot. Uh, dope. Trent Trent from, uh, from Detroit. He gave me a slapper called Dub C that's just a crook walk anthem as well. Wow. Trick Trick, how did that come about? Uh, you know, I mean, real recognized, real. Whenever I go to Detroit, you know, he's always out there with his crew. Mm -hmm. And uh, us seeing each other in passing, we always say we want to work together. Because I know he do music as well, but a lot of people is just overshadowed by, you know, by his reputation of being out there and being real rough in the streets. but. I mean, he real talented. That's one of the reasons why Eminem, you know, you know, still messing with him. So, right. You know, we got together and collabed, and uh, we did a bang. Incredible. Yeah. Everybody's talking about this new Dub C and the Mad Circle album. Is this something that's going to come into fruition uh, yeah. anytime yeah. soon? The Mad Circle. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna put another Dub C and the Mad Circle album out pretty soon. But before that album drop, we got a dance and Dub C album coming out called West Coast Gangsters. Nice, nice. Yeah. Long time over too. Why did it take so long for you guys to uh, do an album together? Man? We're busy. <laughs> okay. We're busy. All right. Yeah. So what can people expect from now? <laughs> Ankle breakers. Oh. Straight up. Ankle breakers. You know? Get your chucks. Put your chucks out. Nice. Ankle breakers. Entirely produced by Daz? Uh, yeah, produced by Daz, but you know, we got other producers falling in as well. We're gonna have, you know, we're gonna have an all-star classic uh, lineup from Battle Cat to Jelly Roll to, Incredible. you know, to the Fred Rex to the Superflies. We're gonna have about four or five, four or five bangers, you know, from the, uh, you know, from, 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 from the usual suspects, but the majority of the album is gonna be um, produced by Daz. Does, do those usual suspects include DPG, Corrupt, Superfly, Snoop? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's a family. 